but uh, you know, they're a radical liberal nonetheless. So Donald Trump, uh, today, this is literally uh, an hour old. This tweet is, I'm not even joking, it's 59 minutes old as I'm reading this to you live. And as I read this tweet, let me look at my clock. As I read this tweet, it's going to enter from the 59 minute territory into the 60 minute, also known as one hour territory, since this tweet has been tweeted. Uh, in fact, we have about 15 seconds. So uh, I'm going to start reading the tweet now. And then as I am reading the tweet, it will shift over into being an hour old. So the states want to redo their votes. They found out they voted on fraud. Legislatures never approved. Let them do it. Be strong. So now the tweet is one hour old. Um, now I say I agree with that. I agree with Donald Trump. Let's do another election, right? Let's do another one. Do it like the UK does it, right? Snap elections, right? Boom. Let's elect everyone. I like that system because I think that if we were to do a snap election, I think Trump would lose again. And I think a lot of the Republican senators, like, I don't know, Tom Tillis, Susan Collins, I might, I think they would have a rougher chance, Joni Ernst, right? Of uh, winning re-election given what the Republican party has done over the last three months. So I'm down with Donald Trump's idea for a snap election. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's what I say. But either way, Donald Trump is having a meltdown on Twitter. Like, let's go on. Even Mexico uses voter ID. This is such a good tweet. Even, even Mexico uses voter ID. Fucking even Mexico. I can't, dude. I can't. Holy shit. They just happened to find 50,000 ballots late last night. The USA is embarrassed by fools. Our election process is worse than that of third world countries. Even Mexico uses voter ID. Oh my god. The Republican Party and, comma, more importantly, comma, our country, comma, needs the presidency more than ever before, space dash space, the power of the veto, stay strong. States want to correct their votes, which they now know were based on irregularities and fraud. Plus, corrupt process never received legislative approval. All Mike Pence has to do is send them back to the states and we win. Do it, Mike. This is a time for extreme courage. I, I'm glad I'm not Mike Pence right now. I mean, I would like to be Mike Pence to be one of the most powerful people in the world. But like today specifically, like the next three hours specifically, I'm glad I'm not Mike Pence. Like imagine having Donald dumbfuck Trump breathing down your neck saying, come on, Mike, just overturn the election, Mike. Come on, Mike. On Twitter, right? Getting And then there's a million motherfuckers and there's just a million motherfuckers right outside with guns and Trump Rambo flags, right? I do not want to be Mike fucking Pence right now. Like, again, just in this specific, like, next three hours. <laughs> My God, right? Do it, Mike. Come on, Mike. Why don't you just overturn the election results, Mike? Come on. Sleepy eyes Chuck Todd is so happy with the fake voter tabulation process that he can't even get to the words the words out straight. Sad to watch. Now, I'm not going to watch uh, Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd, but uh, I'll take Trump's word for it on that one. Um, if Vice President Mike Pence comes through for us, we will win the presidency. Many states want to decertify the mistake they made in certifying incorrect and even fraudulent numbers in a process not approved by the state legislatures, which it must be. Mike can send it back. So this is what Donald Trump has been doing all night. While there's an election in Georgia, Donald Trump is less concerned with that. I mean, he's going to go into the ballots, the black robe and the black shield. Early in the morning, they went to uh, the table with the black robe, the black uh, shield, and they pulled out the votes. So he's more concerned with the black robes and the black shields than he is with uh, the second incarnation of the black robes and the black shields. Uh, so this is something. What is this? Interesting. All right. Um, oh, I guess this is the, the, the march of last night, which I do have some clips of. Pennsylvania is going to Trump. The legislators have spoken. So this thing happened in Pennsylvania. Um, and he tweeted, but here we go. Big news in Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania refused to seat some of their own people in their own state legislature. And I think they are actually trying to do a coup in Pennsylvania. And I think that this is like, uh, I think this is like one of those like semi-official, like this is a, like a moving on, like the coup continues. Now it could be stopped, but I believe, um, 
that this is like the most official form that Pennsylvania could do um, at this point. Now, again, it depends on what's going to happen if it does get kicked back to the states. Um, but this is going to be very interesting. And I, have, I don't know much about this. And I should have read over this overnight, but I didn't. So I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm presenting you some incomplete stuff here. Um, but either way, it seems Pennsylvania is trying to fuck us over. And uh, so that's going to be interesting. But again, today is just going to be a very interesting day. Um, let's refresh his Twitter feed, see if anything new popped up. Even Mexico uses voter ID. Even Mexico. In my opinion, it's, never, my too opinion, it's never too late. So, oh, so, oh. Little double, uh, little double, double, sound, uh, act, double yeah. sound act. Yeah. So, um, uh, so that's the story, fellas. I I love how he just, he tries to recover with, so that's the story, fellas. Fucking, so that's the story, fellas. 